six hours time I'm going to have a severe gale nine with gusts up to 50 knots and uh, at the moment the keel I've managed to stop the keel swinging at the moment but it's a temporary fix the boat could sink Probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Because this boat has been uh, my life for the last three years, and uh, and it, it really doesn't feel right to to be leaving her behind. Hello. Hello, guys. Mike. Hi, Mike. Um, just calling to let you know I'm on on the final approach. Okay. Uh, and it's all going to get a bit hectic soon. Right, so, okay, uh, thanks for that. Uh, Obviously the problem with uh, connecting to Mike first is that if he moves away from me and I'm slow to disattach myself from Hugo Boss, then the possibility that he can rip the raft apart and, uh, and that would be catastrophic. Okay, Mike, ready when you are. Hello. Hello, Gringo. Hi, Mike. All right, he's, he's on board. Is he? Fantastic. Congratulations. Yes, he's on board. Thank you. And uh, um, well, he's uh, looking mighty relieved. Hello. Hi, Gringo. You've just spoken to Alex yet? I was far and away the happiest chap there. <laughs> Great feeling of relief that the, the job done. But Alex, of course, obviously a bit mindful of the fact that he's letting go of his boat. Uh, and he was all there in front of us, you know. It's a nice boat uh, going one way and us going the other way. It's not very pleasant. You have to have trust in the other person who's going to pick you up. And I'll say that if I choose anybody in this race to come get me, then uh, Mike would be the one I would choose. <laughs> 